what you have always suspected turns out to be true. Your friends have more friends than you, at least on average. Luckily, this sad knowledge can be used to prevent the spreading of infectious diseases. An infectious disease can spread because infected people infect healthy people. Somebody who is contagious can infect on average two other people. In other words, the basic reproduction rate is two. With a disease like measles, this number can be as high as 20. One patient with measles can infect about 20 others. This is why outbreaks of measles are much harder to combat with vaccinations. The higher the reproduction number, the higher the percentage of the population that you have to vaccinate. With measles, this can be as high as 95%. At least, that is assuming that every patient has an equal number of contacts with other people. Of course, this assumption doesn't always hold. For example, with sexually transmitted diseases, there are always some very active people who can become super spreaders. When you plot out the network, these nodes have the most connections. If we would be considering a social network, these nodes are your most popular friends. It's hard to compete, whether you're vaccinating or trying to be more popular. So, in networks with large variations of the numbers of contacts, the vaccination formula doesn't work anymore and we run into the friendship paradox. Suppose you take a random person and you count the number of contacts that this person has. Let's say three. Then you pick one of those contacts and you count their contacts. On average, there are likely to be more than three. That also means that our friends have more friends than we do, at least on average. When you think about it, this friendship paradox isn't so paradoxical. Popular people have more friends by definition, so they are named more often as being contacts, so their friend counts get included in averages more often. This friendship paradox can even be put to use in combating disease. Start by selecting random people from the population that you want to protect. But don't vaccinate those people. Instead, ask them to name one of their contacts. It's those people you will vaccinate. Because of the friendship paradox, these people are more important for the spreading of the disease, maybe even super spreaders. They are the ones you have to target. So this conclusion that your friends have more friends than you, and that your romantic partners probably had a wilder past than you, is just plain network science, and not a personal failing, probably.